Hi, this is Jason with Production Voices. I have Concert Grand here, and I have the Ambisonics all working externally within Logic. So let's hear what it sounds like. Here's the piano. And as it plays, I'll explain what's happening. So what I've had to do is choose Output to be External. Then I went into Logic and created a bunch of buses on that channel. I created a WXYZ for the Ambisonics. I panned them so that they would go appropriately to the right channels over in the Surround Zone 2. I set them all to the bus, and the bus was a surround sound bus. I added this plugin. When I panned them correctly, I put the channels to the WXYZ. Here's the magic. We can take this and rotate it. Unfortunately, this is just um, it's going to the right side instead of the left side. So it's just inverse, I believe. So this is the sound of the room. We'll keep rotating. Sounds great when you have headphones on here. There it goes again. So then you're getting like a 360 pan here, and you have the ability to pan in the Z group as well. I am just going to see if I can uh, zoom on the front more, and then just do more of a width on the piano. So let's see. Let's so you can hear that's more mono. So you can also spread. This is surround. I'm gonna bring these back in to be balanced, and then uh, So with other software, you have the ability to hone in or zoom in, such as if you're using HarpX and so on, but it gives some incredible flexibility to the sound. You can uh, get deep inside the piano, choose just the high end, the low end, and yeah, kind of point at the player's perspective and such. So very cool. I hope you like the Ambisonics demo for Concert Cram.